Good morning comrades, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Nürburgring. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I would like to thank all of you members of the channel for supporting the channel. And now on to today's subject, namely this Mercedes AMG A45 S from our dear friend Lucas from Opus Automotive. Now we've seen this car already last year on the channel where he drove two laps, one on POV and one with normal camera setup where we talked about the car. But a lot has changed ever since Lucas has started his own company, did a couple of upgrades on the car and uh, asked if I would like to feature the car on the channel. Where is Lucas? Well, he said, I don't have time for it. Would you mind taking the car out by yourself? Guess what I answered. Tristan is doing some laps to prepare for tomorrow's RCN. I'll be also breaking in my shoes, but you probably this is not a fashion vlog. So let's talk about the car again. Uh, the reason why the bonnet is open is although the car is running 490 horsepower confirmed on the dyno, there is one thing that I want to show you, which is namely here, Opus made uniballs, the, the top mount suspension, which uh, allows the camber adjustment also. Eibach lowering springs, the turbo is stock, but as mentioned, the car is remapped to have 490 horsepower. On the front, we have a big brake kit, 390 mil discs, the brake caliper is stock, Pro Track wheels 19 inch with Mission and Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires, 255 square setup, so 255, 35 around, 19, the stock size is 245, so slightly more rubber. Now, on the exterior, pretty much stock, except for the wheels, of course, as mentioned. On the back, a Krapovich exhaust, so EU approved, just a cat back. And on the interior, which is very important, which we will about to see, is this amazing GoPro cage mount attached to AMG GTR seats. So those are pull positions, but come straight from the GTR, leather and Alcantara. And most importantly, what Lucas told me, it has seat heating, which is not available as a factory option. Now, pretty much it. That's pretty much it when it comes to this. Furthermore, the interior is standard. Of course, you could, if you want to, go for a full club sports pack, but this is more than sufficient. And now I'm excited to find out how this baby drives. I more or less knew it last year when it had a bit less horsepower, a bit less mods. So yeah, I'd say let's hop in and go. I believe I didn't forget any future, uh, any other mods. It has uh, braided uh, brake lines, pretty much necessary upgrade, I would say. So enough talking, let's hop in. Actually, I did forget one very important thing. Not on this side, because this is just some fake uh, vent, but here you have the intercooler slash heat exchanger, and there is a safety mesh installed by Opus, because otherwise it's completely open, and when you're driving on track, you can have a stone chip coming in and destroying your intercooler or heat exchanger, or also on the street. So yeah, this is a very nice solution. And on top, also less important, but worthy of mention, Opus blow off valve.
that collision avoidance. Yeah.
really nice sunset really nice car more on that in a bit first did a, some courtesy fuel splash and dash also big shout out to the e92 that was staying ahead of me very nice check him out cool car we are back all in one piece that's what matters of course and now quick verdict about the car overall i like it a lot it's a very well balanced except for suspension we'll get to that point in a bit but when it comes to engine mapping the performance is very linear you can modulate the throttle very nice uh, to use it uh, like to go through corners especially with the use of torque vectoring in the rear so very nice an all-wheel drive car but you can still slide a bit especially when you cold, have cold tires you have to watch out um braking also very nice but then finally of course the suspension it is way too soft but again this is modified it has camber which you can feel in the corners very beneficial it has stiffer springs which i don't remember anymore how a stock a45s is driving but if it's stiffer than stock then stock is really i would not say bad and in this case also it doesn't mean that it's bad it's just not optimized for the track it's optimized for comfort and this is why you don't see many mercedes out on the track because to buy it as a track car is quite heavy and the slider from track performance to comfort is more towards comfort and this is why it just doesn't make sense to build one but you can make it one but uh, this is a story for another time overall overall and in addition what i want to say is that i like that this car does not upshift when you go into rev limiter this is why I, sometimes i was just like mm, but it like it's uh, it cuts ignition very much so you it slows down a lot uh, you can you could also tell that the oil sensor was quite sensitive we had the oil warning once this is something that Lucas has, has warned me for, so this is just like a car characteristic. And other than that, very well and nicely balanced car. So thank you very much, Lucas, for uh, trusting me, allowing me to drive with it. It can go extremely fast when you solve the suspension. Uh, in this case, I wouldn't say a problem, but characteristic. Uh, but that's something up to whoever would like to modify his A45S because Lucas is using this car as a daily more, more or less and this is something I will be enjoying uh, because today is Saturday he'll be picking up on Monday and I will just go now to Blackfish to pick up stickers for my race car etc and on the street this car is very comfortable and on track it performs very well but it can perform a lot better but then you will compromise the comfort enough of that um, again thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed uh, it was a very nice lap I loved it a lot so uh, that's it. That's all I want to say. Thank you very much. Uh, subscribe, like, share. Give Lucas a follow and thank you on his channels, on his pages. And looking forward to do more with him, with Opus, and yeah, with his cars and his muffins. You rem remember he made muffins when we showcased this AMG Black Series, but that's a story you can watch back and look forward to when the car will have over 1,000 horsepower. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Can you please use your indicators next time? I'm so sorry, I will never do it again. I was distracted by this man, and I have to blame him for it. So everyone's just using an excuse. <laughs> He's my driver excuse. Your excuse is that he didn't put his indicator, and your excuse is that I was sitting in the car. And what's your excuse for sitting in the car then? Laps. <laughs> <laughs>